falling off, see? And the tires fall off. That's it though. Barely, barely hanging on. There goes the tire again! Come back! Uh, see, I told, I, see, there's another tire. Well, not really, I mean, it, this is, see, there's the hubcap. Oh, the hubcap falls off on the thing. But welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and today we're looking at something really different here. This is actually really cool. Some of you bought these from my store. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. This came out of nowhere. I just built it. I'm like, wow. This took me by surprise. So hang in there, check it out, and here's why. So this is Zingbao's XB08003, the Dream Car Series Camper Set. 2,463 pieces. You know, I got so many sets here in the office. Some are built, some are not built, some are still in the boxes. And I pulled this one out, I built it, and I was really pleasantly surprised by this. As a modular home fan, I was like, whoa, this is actually pretty cool. And then it comes with this. Now this is a car. I'm not a car guy, but you know, and it comes with a couple other accessories. I'll pull those out in a bit. So here's the overview of both of these sets right now that you're seeing together. And there's a couple of loose pieces on the set. It happens all the time when you buy these. They're not Lego. Lego is like perfect. These guys try to do something original and some pieces just don't fit. This example here is on the hubcap. I had to take those off because they kept falling off. And the car has a little pipe on it, the exhaust. I'll show you in a bit. It just doesn't fit unless I cut it. The camper does attach to the car. It will pull it. It's a little bit heavy on the back. It might pull the, the hook off on the car. It's not, not really built that great. But look, they both do roll. Look at that. I'm gonna go backwards here. The tires on the car are a little bit loose. You might have to like shove them in once in a while, but I'll show you how it comes out later. But as of right now, you can see it rolls just fine. Just be gentle. If you pull it too fast, it will pop off like that. And now the tires are getting stuck. So I have to like shove in the tires. Da -da -da, and put this back in. You know, display model. How does it look for a display though? Now the scale looks off already because you can see it's quite big. So, you know, stay tuned for the end of the video. I usually have a little short film with the minifigures playing around inside of it. So you can kind of get the idea of the spacing and the design. It is a little bit big. That's the only thing, but hey, I absolutely love this set. So we'll start with the car first, ready? Here we go. We're gonna take this off here. Move you out of the way. Should we just put you on the side there? Yeah, we'll put the, you right there because you look so pretty. Actually pretty cool if you look at it like that, yeah. Now, I built this right after the Aston Martin, and I had the Aston Martin there. I'm supposed to review that for you guys, too. This one actually looks pretty okay compared to it. I was like, oh, not bad, not bad. But like I said, the tires are a little bit loose, so you can see it run, runs fine. But if you keep playing with it, it's getting stuck now because the tire is about to flop out of there. Yeah, it's about to go off, so you have to keep them shoved in there. Maybe you can use your own pieces to, to make it more secure. Now the overall look of the car, I think it actually looks really cool. It looks like a car to me. It looks like one of those Mustang things, but they do have some bits and pieces here that are a little bit funky. So, you know, you might not like the style, but hey, this is a car, it comes with the camper. On the front here, you got the license plate, WAB J83. And look at the bumper on there. They use Ninja Swords, that is hilarious. I thought that was actually a really nice touch. I kind of laughed when I saw that. I have these little silver horns there on the front. Okay, so the hubcaps do pop off on the tires. That's one thing I didn't like about them. They come off, some of them come off pretty easily. But look, this is what they look like without them. It actually looks pretty okay, right? And along the side, you got these grills here along the bottom, the silver ones. Actually, it's a nice touch. And I had them along the hood here on the front too. This hood actually opens up. That's actually pretty cool. It's a little bit flimsy. Doesn't open up all the way. Oh, it does. It can open up straight up like that and put it there. I thought it didn't, but there you go. It does. Look at the engine on the inside. So the engine here is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of details and stuff going on inside. I'm not sure how it relates to a real car engine from this kind of style or if this exists or not, or they're just putting random pieces in there. But actually it looks really cool. I like it. Do you guys like it? Yeah. And again, you just lift up the hood, twist it, pop it back down and it will sit nice and comfy. So the trunk of the car does not open up, unfortunately, but they have this weird little thing right here. I don't know what that is for. It's like a little tail. It's like, yeah, I'm happy because I'm happy. It doesn't open up here on the back, but there is space, there's room in there. You can put things in there for sure. And then we come to the back here. They have these two pipes here. Let me pull them out. Here are the two pipes, these things. They're supposed to attach to here, like so. They attach there. It's not flexible enough, you know? It doesn't fit in here at all. So I just took it out. You can probably trim it and cut it and make it bend around there, but like I said, it still doesn't fit into this, this hole. It's too thick. The pipe is too thick. Okay, we'll leave those pipes out of the way. But other than that, you got the hook to the trailer, to the camper, and the hook is a little bit loose, as you saw earlier. It does pop off, but you got the headlights back here. The silver exhaust pipe, those are a nice touch. Now, the car itself is actually sturdy. It's a sturdy build, but the tires will fall off if you, like, maybe shake it or drop it like that too much. That's holding up pretty good there. Look. Yeah. Boom. 
no suspension. There goes the hubcap. The two doors do open up fine, look at that. Yeah, it's nice and red inside. I actually was quite surprised. I thought they weren't gonna furnish inside at all, but they do, look at the furnishing in there. Look at the chairs, the red, bright, colorful chairs. They do have a little glove box there. It's really, really small. You can't even do anything with it. And you got the dashboard there, the, the small, tiny looking like a radio system in there. The steering wheel does not turn the wheels at all. It's just a piece that pushes in there, but you have a pedal down below. Overall, I think it's fine as a display piece. It looks like a cool car. Just the tires do fall off once in a while. I like the inside there. The interior is actually pretty cool. The doors open and close just fine. Rear view mirrors can fall off really easy. They're just held on by a single stud and you know maybe you can modify that yourself so i was just finishing this review for the video i was trying to fix up the hood and i realized i missed one feature headlights this thing had headlights on it i had no idea that these were there wow nice so we'll move that out of the way and let's get to the favorite part this is my favorite part you ready for this this thing is amazing man like i was really 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 shocked like how well this was done let's take a look at the outlook on here so you got these two canisters here. They say fire extinguisher. I think they're a little bit too big for a fire extinguisher. They look more like gas supply to the camper. But anyway, use your imagination. Whatever you want it to be, it can be. You got these two little doors, they open up. There's nothing inside, but you can hide your stash in here. You got a couple windows. They do open up, but they're flushed up so they can pop out really, really easy. We open up the windows, let some air in there. Get some air going, yo. On the back here, you got two little stands. You can take these off. They're just to hold the, the thing upright. The one just came off. It's supposed to be like loose so that roll it out and drive it around. They're just gonna be like more back heavy now, but you can, it's easy to put those things back on. For the longest time, I'm like, what the heck is this thing? It's like a heart symbol. I don't know what that represents. And then we come here to the entrance side of the camper set. You see this being a little bit loose because it's not fully flushed down because it opens up, but before we get there, check it out. On the bottom here, there are more doors here that open up and inside you got like a first aid kit and you got some tools and they actually had some spare stuff in there. That is a nice touch. Okay, so you got a couple street lamps there and you got a door that opens. Yeah, opens nice and smooth. And we're gonna look inside there in a second, but this is actually a really nice touch. This cover can actually come out. Now you have to be really, 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 really gentle with it because it's not meant to be pulled all the way out or else it'll completely fully come out. You can feel where it's supposed to stop. It's supposed to stop there. So if you're gonna be camping, you wanna put your mini figures there. If you wanna put a little bit of picnic style, you can do that. But if I pull it all the way out, it will just pop out like that. It's very simple design in here. And with that being said, let's pull off the top. And I love this top, by the way. I think the rooftop is actually pretty sturdy. It's really well built. It was fun to put together and this little piece. Yeah, it is loose. It's supposed to be loose. It's intended to, so you know it's easy to come out. Maybe they could have made that a little bit more secure, but I actually overall like it. And I have a window up here, it opens up like that. You can sneak in from the top and have a little ventilation system there. But overall, pretty good. I like it. I like it quite a lot. It's nice and thick too. So this is my favorite part of the camper set. It's on the inside. Check that out. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. Like I was really shocked when I put it together. Like, oh, this is really something special. I haven't seen this before. This is unique. So the first thing you see when you walk in is the makeup table. So the makeup table is really simple. It's got some fake drawers there. It's got a yellow hairbrush. And I just don't like that mirror. I think that's the only thing I didn't like because there's a sticker and it's covering two tiles. Ugh. So behind the makeup table is the toilet. And what's really cool is you can take out the makeup table here. We can actually take out the whole toilet. Yeah, that was really cool. It's not flush down there, but it's kind of nice to be able to pull it out and be like, take, admire it a little bit, take a look at it. See so how the toilet seat, it looks funky. It looks like a futuristic toilet seat. They got a pipe there that maybe a shower head. Is that a shower, like an all-in-one? I think it is. You got the plunger there on the side and the seat can close if it wants to. Yeah, you can close the toilet seat. That is so cool, man. So you can put this back here, put the makeup table here, back. And when you walk inside, it's still cool because you can still open the door to go into the toilet. And you got the toilet paper roll there on the side. You got a little light shining down and that's the window to look outside that we saw earlier. And then you got a rack there. I guess you can hang your towels on there. So behind the bathroom, there's a small little gap, a little area that looks like they couldn't fit anything in there, but they got some flowers back there. There's a little bit of a gap there with some extra studs that are just kind of hanging out. Could have probably filled those in, but hey, you know, maybe you can fill that in yourself. And when you come inside, you got the kitchen area and I like how they use a the little orange studs there and it kind of looked like it's fire frying the egg and you got this little cabinet on the top which is a printed like pattern on there like a flowery pattern and then you got the sink here look how cool that is the sink you got like water that looks like it's actually coming out and nice touch this is what i mean like how come i haven't seen this before it's really interesting you can take the whole sink out and take a look at it very nice very cool indeed it's very easy to put back inside 
put that back in. And I really like the curtains, they're really cool. They're kind of like this retro thing that's going on. We got a clock up there, and we got another shelf, shelving thing going on there. It's kind of small for shelving, but you have this light that looks over this gigantic sofa. It's actually pretty big, but I still love it. I love the way that it's built. It's like a corner sofa, and this piece is actually pretty loose. I think it was done intentionally, so you can design it if you want it to curve out a little bit, or if you want to lay it back flat. And they have fishies, fish cushions. I don't know why they chose this, but those are printed, by the way. And then we come to the other side, and along this counter, it's like, I guess, the living area. You have this picture of a penguin looking at a sunset. Why? Why is a penguin looking at a sunset? Looks like it's in a desert. Okay. You got a couple more drawers down here. They don't open up. They're just for looks. And you got some more plants here by the window. Nice touch. And you got this fan. It's a really cool looking retro-y fan. This has got like a real retro vibe to it. I like that a lot. They put a table that's folded up and you can actually just lift it up and raise it and you can eat there at the table. Look, I know this is not like really perfect to scale, but if you're a fan of like modular homes or interiors, you guys should give it a chance. And it's available. Don't forget, I'm BreakMeUpScotty.com or you can buy anywhere you want to buy it from. It's available all over the place. I think it's actually a pretty cool set. So I know that Lego has a VW Volkswagen. I'm gonna get that one because after this, I was like, I gotta find something similar. And I looked online and I know that one is pretty close to this, but they are two different things. So if you're a fan of that, you might be a fan of this. And now let's look at the accessories and the outdoor stuff. This is what I call the saddest park in the world. Look at that, you know why it's sad? Actually, it's not that bad. It's just a bunch of plants on a plate, but look at the tree, so super long. Yeah, look at that like too long. So you know, in that case, you gotta just cut it here on the top and then cut it a little bit there on the bottom and then you can shove it in more. It's like super, super tight though, look at that. There you go, I cut the tree off already, you can see there. It looks okay. I mean, at least they added it, you know, they could have just finished off with the car and the camper, but they did put that there. And you got a couple chairs here, look at the chairs. They're a little bit big. You got a little table here. So you can have your little picnic there already. It comes with these. And you got this cool little boom box. Look at that, nice design. I haven't seen that particular look before. So very neat, listen to some music. And then we got the minifigures. They got four minifigures here and they actually look exactly the same as other sets that we've seen before. I'm not really a fan of these, but we can take a look at them up close. This is the guy, he's in gray. At least his shoulder has like a little bit of sleeve look to it and the shirt looks okay. It's kind of the eye, I don't like the eyes. I think it's the eyes again, like they look kind of off. But everything else looks fine on him. And you got this other guy who just looks too too weird, man. He's got that slick back vampire hair. A little boy, looks like an adult boy. I don't know what I'm looking at. He looks freaky to me. The next one. Got this little girl. She's in their lingerie. Again, this kind of, I think this is the same one from the Romantic Homes. If you haven't seen the Romantic Home, watch it here. Then you got this lady wearing yellow. She just doesn't look right. These minifigures look just a little bit off. You can see you put the minifigures there and you can see how they fit to the scale of this thing, which they really don't. Look how massive the car looks. Even the little girl. Whoa, it's a giant car. The car tire is not so perfect, kind of falls off once in a while as you saw. Camper is absolutely amazing, it's awesome. I, I, I really, really love it. Accessory park, those are like all bonuses for me. I'm probably not even gonna use them, probably gonna just store them away, trim the tree a little bit. But there you guys go. That's the thing about Dream Car Camper Set. All right, you guys. Until next time, break me out. Whoosh! Man, I keep doing this to myself. I like get stumped. I know what I want to say, but I don't know where to start. That's my problem. It looks really, really good to me. Hey, man, I'm easy to please. There, go to that. No, I took the whole thing up. Dear, I love this couch. The food is so good in here. Mmm, yummy. But why am I standing here like a dog? Am I supposed to bark for my food? Well, dear, you are kind of an animal. You want a cookie? You're so mean. Huh, I'm gonna go outside. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, what are you doing? You're not supposed to drink that water. That's tap water, man. Can I please just enjoy this place for once? Scotty, where are you? Hello? I'm in the toilet. Something was wrong in that cookie. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is so disgusting! I'm getting out of here! <coughs> the smell is unbearable! Ah, I feel so much better now. Whew! Gotta comb my hair. At least I have hair here. Mmm, these cookies taste so good! I wonder what's on the radio! Shh, please be on the lookout. Shh. Two fugitives are on the run. Shh. They have violated the last set review. Shh. They have destroyed the colorful world. Shh. 
In case you haven't seen it, watch that video here. I repeat, they have destroyed the right and the colorful world. What? Oh no! Oh, Scotty! Scotty! We gotta get out of here! Dear, the police are coming! I can hear them! What's happening? Scotty! They're after us for destroying the last ship! We gotta get out of here right now! Jump in the car! Dude, the car doors are so freaking huge! How am I supposed to open it? Scotty! I can barely fit in here! I can't fit my whole head inside! Who cares? Leave your head hanging out the window! Dang it, my legs can't even reach the pedal! Oh, this sucks so much! They're coming, Scotty! Hurry up! We gotta get out of here! Right now! But where do we go, man? There's nowhere else for us to go! We're trapped! We're stuck here! Okay! Definition! Let's not get caught! What are you talking about? Let's keep going! Wh what do you mean? Go! Are you sure?